On the 27th April 2009, the first neutralized aircraft landed on the Techiman airfield. It took Patricia Mauli and Jonathan Porter between two and two and a half hours to reach Techiman from Pong. By road, it would have taken them seven to eight hours. Then again, on the 31st August 2009, another neutralized aircraft landed on the Techiman airfield. The captain, Bill Owen, and his co-pilot, Matthew Porter, arrived at 10.55 a.m. and departed around 1.30 p.m. These landings became possible because the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority had given an authorization for the airfield to be used by passenger carrying and other airplanes. Road transport has been the major means by which most of the cities in Ghana are connected. Air traffic is only available in some major cities such as Accra, Kumasi, Tamale, Takurade, and so on and so forth. However, as the economy grows, more attention is now geared towards aviation to address the traveling needs of the people. Airports provide an answer to these needs. They facilitate the movement of people from one destination to another. At the same time, they guide against armed robbery, traffic jams, and low pace of traveling due to the bad nature of roads. The Shiman is strategically located in the middle of Ghana on the major crossroads of commerce and culture. The people of Techman have embarked on a community airstrip project to improve the socio-economic development of their booming city. The project is initiated by the Techman Traditional Council with the support of the Techman Municipal Assembly and the Works Limited. The objectives of the project are as follows. One, taking care of medical emergencies due to the rampant accidents on our roads. Two, to facilitate the movement of people who are engaged in major businesses in Techiman. In fact, Techiman is the economic hub of Bruno Ahafu region. The city has the largest food market in the sub-region, attracting traders from Accra, Takuradi, Cape Coast, Mankesim, Kumase, Tamale, Boko, Wa, etc., etc. But also traders from Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Togo, etc., all come to Techiman. Techiman accommodates manufacturing industries such as Ghana nuts and has the largest number of financial institutions in the Bono Ahafo region and so many educational institutions as well. The third objective is to offer the opportunity for tourists to visit most of the heritage sites in and around Techiman in a comfortable way. These sites include the Quantanaso Cultural Center, Polychrome Rocks, Boyan Bat Caves, Tanabwasi Sacred Groves, Boabin Fiema Monkey Sanctuary, Kitampo Waterfalls, among others. The Techman Traditional Council has provided 24 km square of land to be developed as airfield. The committee has cleared about 1.5 km and constructed about 800 meters runway that is currently in use. Two people have been trained at WAPS Limited to acquire knowledge in airport safety. At this stage, the committee is appealing to potential investors or partners to come in and assist to realize this dream. And now we, are, we have raised our hand. We have, we have land, we have men, we have the zeal, and we want somebody to hold our hand so that our project can be a success. Interested parties should call Nana Adontihini on the phone lines 020-816-0751 or 024-831-5546 or write to asaripi at yahoo.com 
or call Nana Baram Hini on 0243-743-829 or write to afina.fusu at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.